like a, cr a criminal, always trying to minimize his role in the activity that he did. You mean you you mean to tell me it was hundreds of Israelites? Meanwhile, it was an experiment of forty fucking years, forty years, and only a hundred got caught. It was just a hundred, nothing more, nothing less. You should believe me. Believe me. Got this one. Oh, right. Here you go. There is evidence that devils gave the Native American blankets. They, be they de believe. What do you mean believe? See? See these trickery words. Trickery words. It's a trick word. Right. It's a trick word. Basically, no, no, no. Reality, this is it. Here. I'm going to give you free, free blankets, but I'm going to put some... Smallpox on it. Why, thank you. You're so loving, kind, and you're just worried about me, you know? You love me. Yay. He heard, the tr he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will not require the watchman's hand. That's why we're telling you, like, listen, man, don't be trusting these devils. Listen, listen to what we're saying. And if you don't want to listen, then die. Die in your sins. You know, but it's not my fault. I told you. You want to be loving, right? You should love yourself first, meaning your own people. So thou, son of man, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Before thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, sorry, therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. You could read the rest for yourself. I'm going to just, you know, speed it up. And then you have, for example, where was I again? Where was it again? We need to listen right away. Isaiah chapter 1. Yeah, here. Isaiah 56. Yahweh the power, which gathered the outcasts of Israel, saith, Yet will I gather others to him. Yet will I gather others to him, besides those that are gathered unto him. All ye, that, that goes for the Israelite foreigners. All ye beasts of the field, come to devour. Yea, all ye beasts in the forest. This is not talking about actual animals. This is talking about these other nations. Because the other nations are beasts. Ezekiel 34. <clears throat> and you have Israelites that are beasts also. That's why the Lord says, Give not thy pearls unto swine and dogs. Because they're a bunch of... Those was talking about Israelites. And also it says that if you don't have no laws, then you are a brute beast. That's in the book of Jude. You can read that if you have the time so it says here so it says here Ezekiel 34 and 1 and the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man prophesy against the shepherds of Israel and a shepherd is a person that tends for the cheap sheep right uh, he watches out for the sheep here a shepherd or a sheep herder is a person who tends herds feeds and guards herds of sheep right and we are the sheep of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh the power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? They're not doing that. They're living rich. They're living fat. They're not worried about you. They're balling. They're making fat amounts of money and stuff like that. But they don't give a shit about you, boy. You know what I'm saying? They're all about that money. The diseased. The diseased. Right? The diseased and diseased have ye not strengthened. Neither have ye healed that which was sick, heal it in the mind. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken, broken in the mind or body. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away by telling them that they're Israelites. Because the ones that are driven away from this truth 
and also the ones that were driven away into captivity, into slavery, you need to bring them back to Yahweh Basham Yahushai and tell them that they're not Africans and stuff like that. Neither have ye sought that which was lost, which are the lost sheep of the house of Israel that don't know themselves anymore. They think they're black people and stuff like that. Last time I checked, this is a color, not a race. It's a color. Are you black? You're not black, my man. Shade, I spell shade. Oh, yeah. Of uh, dirt. Hmm. Here. Here you go. There you go. That's what you are. That's what you are. Here. This is this consists of people's skin color. Whether you believe it or not. You know, what going on? Now it says that, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled over them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. Here it comes. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Who are the beasts of the field? These heathen nations. They feed off of us. They make money off of us. You know, they keep us down. They hold us down. Esau is holding us down. And the other nations are keeping us down. Right. So going on to back over here. Isaiah 56 and 9. All ye beasts of the field, come to devour. Yea, all ye beasts in the forest. The, the world is the, the field is the world. The field is the world. It says it right here. Matthew 20, 20, um, sorry, 13. Matthew 13. 38 the field is the world you can read that whole chapter for yourself I just grabbed that point his watchmen are blind they are all ignorant these are the false prophets they don't warn you anything they are all ignorant they are all dumb dogs because dumb means unable to speak and a dog is something that's supposed to bark they cannot bark sleeping lying down loving to slumber yay they are greedy dogs. Yeah, they fill their own belly. Just like Ezekiel 34 says. These are the false, false one of our people. They are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. Like, you, you don't need a mansion. You don't need a mansion. Where is that thing? Oh, they took it out. I can't see images. Yeah, they're playing with me. Like, for real. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever, you devil. Did you just see that? <laughs> anyway. Right. So, you know, you got, you got, you got, you got uh, planes and stuff like that. You don't need that. You don't need a plane. You, you, you don't need it for real. But anyway, enough of this. Now, there are all greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They don't understand, man. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain from his quarter, from his own place. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine and will fill ourselves with strong drink, nonsense, strong philosophies. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Also actual drink. They're getting merry and they're fat and they're living good and they want more. So, on, uh, yeah, the Heavenly Father says that these people are not the people that, um, that he's dealing with, right? And our people are just following after them, the majority of them, which is good. You get what you deserve, as, as it says in the scriptures. Isaiah, Isaiah, because what we are actually doing is the opposite. We're warning you. We're the watchmen. Because their watchmen is stupid, blind, and, and dumb. They're blind, they're, 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 they're dumb, they're, they can't see where they're going, and they're going to destroy themselves, and you too, if you follow them. But this is what we're doing. Isaiah 55 and 1. Oh, everyone that thirsted. Just like the John chapter 4, where it says that the Lord came to bring the water, and you shall never thirst again. That water, the everlasting spiritual water. Come ye to the waters, and he that had no money, come ye buy and eat. 
Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. This is this truth. That's why they was talking about the strong drink, which is mentioned in the book of Isaiah 29. This is that strong drink that they was talking about. It says here, uh, Isaiah, you can read from 6 on, uh, until 13, but I'm going to go to the point. So it says, uh, Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. What What is that that they're drunken with? They're, stronger, they're, they're drunken with f wrong philosophies. For Yahweh had poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and had closed your eyes to the wicked prophets. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, had he covered. Right. That's what he's doing. But he will uncover the true ones, which is mentioned in Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you passes according to my heart mind heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding this is what what we pray that we are and not a dumb dog that doesn't warn you hey watch out with these cave people boy they're not playing with you you think they're nice yeah see a wise man is angry because he knows he being oppressed if you know the truth and you see all these lies around you you be cut them you want to you kill people but you can't you got to remain calm Yahweh shy he had superpowers and spiritual powers he could do things, but he was not allowed to kill the people. Just like in the book of Luke chapter 10. The apostles, they had the power to kill people, but the Lord said, you, you, you can't do that. Now it says here, in Luke chapter 10, verse... No, 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 it's John 10, if I'm correct. No, was it John? No, no, no. No, it wasn't here. Hmm... There was it again. Luke 9, sorry. Luke 9 and... Where should I start? I'll just start to the point. You can read the rest for yourself. Now it says here, Luke 9 and 54. And when his disciple James and John saw this, they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? So he, they wanted to kill these people, right? As Elijah did. Elias is Elijah. But he turned and rebuked them and said, ye know not what manner of spirit ye are in. Basically, they was in the spirit of Satan because they wanted to kill the people. For the Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. They was like, leave them. Their time will come. We only come here to actually spit the word. Because the Lord said, first he will send fishes, and they shall fish. And after that he will send for her. Then the killing comes. Jeremiah 16, 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord. And they shall fish them. They shall fish the people. And after will I send for many hunters. And they shall hunt them. From every mountain. And from every hill. And out of the holes of the rocks. That's so. Uh, let me read on. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. Where they be good or evil. They are not hid from my face. Save the Lord. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. I know your iniquity. I know your sins. Right? your evil ways and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land they have filled mine inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things the Lord is going to break them in pieces he's gonna give them double according to what they're doing so that's why the Lord told the two apostles don't kill them not yet once the Lord makes you hunters, then it will be time, but not now. So Isaiah 55 and 2. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? Like uh, cars and stuff like that, doing your nails, getting your hair did, buying 
different types of color hair instead of spending money on this truth <clears throat> which is not actual money but anyway <clears throat> also for real bread you know they rather get their nails done than actually put food on the table for their children and your labor for that which satisfied not right you're working your whole life for a career but in the end you die <clears throat> and then your money <clears throat> will be taken by the government or split among the living basically we work for treasures in heaven that's what we labor for not for the treasures on earth hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in the fatness that's what we're waiting for we're building up treasures in heaven so that our souls can delight in fatness like in in in, in, in abundance and how do you do that here it comes incline your ear and come to unto me here and your soul shall live because he that liveth in pleasure she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she live she that liveth in pleasure first Timothy's 5 and 6 but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth right you're dead you're dead and then you have the for the men What is it again? Oh yeah, Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's where you will be. You're dead. You're spiritually dead from the neck up. Your head is dead. And that goes for the females also. You're dead. But Yahweh Shai said, I will give you the living water, which is this truth. John 4 and... No. Verse 13. Yahweh shall answer and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, which is the actual physical water. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, which is the spiritual water. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up into everlasting life. And that's what we want. We want our soul to be enlightened and full of water, full of wine, full of milk buy wine and milk without money how do you do that time is money time is money is a avarism that is claimed to have organ or what originated in advance to a whatever 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 the point is that remember that time is money meaning you know time is money so if you give us your time guess what you're you're buying A person's time is as valuable as money. So if you stand still or watch the videos, listen to the elder apostles on down in America, on down to the rest of the world, then you are actually buying this truth. And uh, yeah, here. So it says that incline your ear and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. How? All, all, all you need to do is listen. That's how. Even the sure mercies of David. That's what we're going to get to. Just because David had a lot of mercies. He committed adultery. And then he committed murder. And still the Lord had mercy on him. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to show us mercy too. Because we have committed murders. And we have committed adulteries. As a people. As a whole nation. So. The, more, the Lord is going to have mercy on us, just like he had on David. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. Right. Matthew 10 and 5. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are the sheep. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. This is what they could do in the physical form back in the days. But the Lord is going to give his men in the physical form this same power 
in the last days, he's going to give it to him again, right? But now we just do this with the word. Freely you have received, freely give. So we don't ask you money. Provide neither gold nor silver. Oh, I don't have to read that. But then, uh, so yeah, so when, uh, yeah, we don't we, we, we don't want your money. Proverbs 22 and 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. This looks like it's a contradiction to itself because the Lord said that you should not buy the truth. Uh, sorry, uh, he said that you should not sell it. So how can you buy something that you are not able to sell? Time is money. Just listen and then you're already bought without money. But you did pay for it because time is money. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. That's what we want and that's what we pray for. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get what you deserve. <laughs> Matthew 25 and you can read the whole chapter for yourself. I'm going to just go to the point. Verse mm. 9. But the wise answered saying, not so. Lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Which is what the truth. Because the oil is also truth. Lamps is also truth, which is fire, and the, the, the truth is also fire and water. I'm gonna get that here. And while they went to uh, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, Yahusha came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Eh, no more coming in. Afterward came also the other virgins, the foolish ones, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I, don't, I, don't, I know you not. Watch therefore. You got to watch. And the watchmen are watching for you. And before you know it, you will watch along with the watchmen. Because now you will know stuff. You will know, not, uh, you will know what not to do. You will know what not to do. You will know what not to believe. Because our people are defenseless. Because it says that, if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. These demons, these devils, these Edomites, they are very deceiving. Boy, you have no idea. Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall not arise false anointed and false prophets. The word Christ means anointed. Here, to anoint with olive oil. It means anointed. You can read the rest for yourself, but it means anointed. It goes back to anointed. That's why they don't say an, uh, they don't say Jesus. It was Eusis. Here. Here. Eusis Christus. That's the real, that's the name. Because, yeah, literally. Because literally it means anointed, a man anointed with oil. That is literally what it means. It's not his name, it's a title. It's just like the Latino people, they say, uh, Jesus Christus, Jesus, Jesus, Juan, Juan. Where do you think they got the language from? They got the language from the Spaniards. And where do you think, where do you think the, the conquistadors? And where do you think the conquistadors got the language from? What did the Romans speak? Latin. Latin America. Why? Why? <laughs> Why you think they speak? Why? Why? Why you think they speak Latin? Hey, canal. You don't know. I say. Como esta es? So it says here. For there shall arise false anointed. <clears throat> false ones that claim to be anointed with oil. Like they are the chosen people. They're lying to you. And false prophets, and shall show great one signs and wonders. In so much, if that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Believe me, boy, this is one of the greatest trickeries upon the planet Earth. The, the boo, and nobody talks about it. And this too, you don't have journalism no more. They took it away. They give you entertainment. That's what you get. You get entertainment nowadays. Back in the days, Spider-Man used to shoot his web out of his hand and the, and the uh, uh, symbiote used to shoot Black Fist. 
and then they step to him. Here, Venom still has it. He shoots his hand like a black fist. There you go. That power loop. And, uh, <laughs> and he did it too. He did it too in the comic. And he also did a fist. He also did fist. I can get that. Wait. Um, wait. Right, I got it here. As you can see, black fist. Black power. <laughs> he shot his web out of his fist. And then he swung. And you can see the hole right here, right? Right here. And that is where his web swing used to be. And then you have the other one from the 1960s. Mm. Spider-Man. Spider-Man intro from the 1960s. Wait, I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm pause it because I don't want no copy. As you can see here, he shoots us out of his web, out of his hand, out of his uh, wrist, his wrist. And then I'm going to get another one, which is here, here. As you can see here, and then he shoots it. He didn't make the Satan thing. He didn't make the Satan thing back in the days. So when um, he had this one here, he had this one here. Right, and then he had this one here, and he used to all also do the he he used to also do it like this. He also did it like this, like this, exactly like this, exactly like this, yeah, exactly like this one, like exactly like this. Basically, you could say this, you know. Talk to the hand. They stole that from us also, because black females is. Uh, they, they, they steal everything from us, man. The way that we talk, walk, anything and everything. But anyway, that's why I know, like, and, um, they corrupted the cartoon system. You know what I'm saying? Spidey. Everything, actually. Not just Spider-Man. They took away the, the journalism part of his... This is what he was doing. This is his job. The Daily Bugle. The Daily Bugle is a news uh, outlet. But anyway, so um, going back to over here. Watch, watch therefore, Matthew 25 and 13. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor hour, nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. But we that are not in darkness, we kind of know. That's what it says right here. So you need to filter this also. First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. He doesn't need to write the exact time and day. For he himself doesn't know. Matthew 25 says that. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, you got to watch out for these words. When these Edomites are going to say peace and safety, you know, <laughs> they need to know. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Just like how these people was thinking peace and safety. Oh, we're going to go back to peace and all love. And and then sudden, do, 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 doom. Destruction came upon them. <laughs> doom. <laughs> Esau is funny as hell. I kind of laugh. I chuckled. I didn't really laugh, but I, I kind of laughed. It's like, an, uh, you know you shouldn't laugh, but you know it's funny because um, these people are stupid. <laughs> they believe they're enemies. <laughs> I know who my enemy is, and I'm not trusting no cave monkey boy. I am trusting you, boy. <laughs> As travail, so it says, and then sudden destruction coming upon them. So just like how they do, they do sudden destruction upon these people, right? That's the same way the Lord is going to bring the sudden destruction upon you devils. As travail upon a woman with child. A woman could be walking in the street, la 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 la, a little red riding hood, and all of a sudden, ah, they're screaming because they know their baby being to come. And they shall not escape. You know, you ain't going anywhere. You you eat them, you ain't going anywhere. Jeremiah 23 and uh, 29. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? The Lord is the, the word is also a sword. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh, 
Hebrew 4? I think it was Hebrew 4. 